Anand Nafushoga offers some fairly good courses, uh, either free or at a reasonable price. You can price and you can find them on Facebook under that name right there. This is a uh, last time that I took Ohin's classes. I knew someone that took the wrong Fonya Irrigid, the silver Fonya conversational uh, class with her, and it was very good. She's evidently teaching a uh, Bunrong Yopai Anad Nafushoga has several classes frequently. I don't know if this is available online this summer. I wrote to them. Here's the address. And uh, they sent me back the, this link to their beginning videos, which I, I thought we could use if we have our beginners pop up. And uh, this is what I typed in listening to their video. Yeah, so I'm recording. And hopefully we'll pick up their sound here. Welcome to Introductory Irish. Kjakt ahim, lesson one. We're going to look at meeting people. Bolu the dini. Big bolu the dini, meeting people. And we'll also talk about mayhem, myself, mayhem. So, big bolu the dini, meeting with people. In Irish, when we meet someone and we want to say hello, we say Gia Ditch. Gia Ditch. Now, literally, that means God be with you. That's how we say it in Irish. So, Gia is the word for God. Gia Ditch. God be with you. Hello. If someone says hello to you, then you reply by saying, Gia Smuradich. Now, literally, this means God and Mary be with you, but it's just the response to hello. So, Gia Ditch. Gia Smuradich. It's Michel Roshin. I'm Roshin. It's Michel Roshin. Hossa. Who are you? Okay, Hossa. Could you and Tanya Matha Art? That's another way of saying what's your name? Could you and Tanya Matha Art? And your reply then would be Paul and Tanya Matha Art. My name is Paul. Paul and Tanya Matha Art. Does she just pull the lat? It's nice to meet you. Does she just pull the lat? If you want to ask someone how they are in Irish, you'll say, Could you more tattoo? How are you? Could you more tattoo? And if someone asks you that, you can say, Tell me good morning. I'm well, I'm grand. Tell me good morning. You can also say, Tell me good morning. Tell me good morning. I'm grand. Now, if you are asked that, you'll want to also return that and say, I'm all about yourself. August to him. August to him. Tell me good morning, August the Hain. I'm grand, and you? And you might hear, to me she go bra frosta, go to my hug it. I'm fine too. 
thank you. So Frosta is two also. And Gora Moy Hugget is thanks. Thank you. Gamisha Gamoy Frosta. Gora Moy Hugget. Now, if you want to ask someone where they live in Irish, there's a couple of different ways of saying that. Cal Coneort. Cal Coneort. Where do you live? You will also hear Cal to the Hone. Cal to the Hone. Both mean where do you live? So, Tame Mohone. ML Farsha. I live in Belfast. Come in Mahone, ML Farsha. If you live in Twinbrook, Come in Mahone, a Galoe. I live in Twinbrook, Come in Mahone, a Galoe. If you live in Pool Glass, Tame Mahone a bowl glass. Tame Mahone a bowl glass. For Lagmore, then you'll say Tame Mahone a Lagmore. Tame Mahone a Lagmore. And for Mount Diggles, Tame Mahone a Grochanalia. Tame Mahone. A grocanalia. I live in Mount Eagles. Call to the Hone. In Irish, when we want to say we like something, what we say is, it's my chlum. It's my chlum. Now, we've already met the word my earlier. We, we said Tamigo Moy for I'm well or I'm grand. So Moy basically means good. Moy is the word for good. And to say I like something is Moy What we're literally saying is it's good with me. It's good with me. That's how we say I like something. It's Moy so the question, do you like something, will be, am moichliat, am moichliat, whatever it is you're talking about. An moichliat cafe, do you like coffee? Es moichliam cafe, ni moichliam cafe. And Moichliat and Kyanter, do you like the area? And Kyanter, the area. So if you've said, Kame Mohone, a bowl glass, someone could ask you, And Moichliat and Kyanter, do you like the area? Is Moichliam and Kyanter? Or ni moichiam and kyanter. In Irish, when we want to ask someone, do they have something? There's no real verb for have as such in Irish, but what we are saying is um, something is at me. So I'll say, ta kopon ogum. It literally means a cup is at me. That's how we say we have something in Irish. So your question is going to be, and will kopon ogut, do you have a cup? And will kopon ogut, do you have a cup? And your answer will be Ta Kopon Ogum Ta Kopon 
Ogum. But she says, yes, I have a cup. I, a cup is at me. If you don't have whatever you're being questioned about, kneel, cup on, Ogum. Kneel, cup on, Ogum. So if I wanted to ask someone if they had children, I would say, and will wash ye ogget. And will wash ye ogget. Do you have children? And they could answer, Ta wash ye ogum. I have children. Neil wash ye ogum. No, I don't have children. So, and will blank ogget. Do you have a blank, whatever you're talking about? So if you're asked, and will push the ogget, do you have children? You could say, to mock a wine ogum. I have one son. Mac is son. And to say one son would we'll say Mac a wine. So to Mac a wine ogum. I have one son. If you have one daughter, to Enin a wine ogum. So Enin is daughter. To Enin a wine ogum. If you have two sons or, or two daughters, we say ta birch wak ogum. So the number comes before the word for son, from two upwards. The numbers can be tricky and we're going to come back to the numbers later, but we'll just keep it for the first few for now. So I have two sons, ta birch wak ogum. We use birch for two when we're talking about people. Ta birch wak ogum. I have two sons. Ta birch inin ogum. I have two daughters. Ta birch inin ogum. So if you have three sons or daughters, we we'll say ta trua mach ogum. Ta trua mach ogum. I have three sons. Ta trua mach ogum. If you have three daughters, ta trua inin ogum. Ta truer inin agam. So, like I said, we'll come back to numbers later. I think one, two, three for now is plenty. And obviously you could have a combination of any of those. So, you could say, Ta birch wak agus inin a wine agam. I have two sons and one daughter. The birch wak agus inin a wine agum. Or if you have three daughters and one son, ta trur inin agus mak a wine agum. Ta trur inin agus mak a wine agum. To talk more about the family then, the word for parents is Taishmahori. Taishmahori. Parents. Children we've already met, that's Pwashti. Pwashti. For children. Just one child would be Pwashti. 
a ještě. For a baby then, um, you would say either Lianlu, Lianlu, or Bobby. Either of those is fine. I would probably use Bobby um, for a like a wee newborn baby. Um, and Lianlu, you could use up until they're let's say sort of toddler age. So Bobby. Lianlu and Pasha when they're a bit over toddler age. Brother and sister then. These words can be a wee bit tricky. They're similar so just take the time to, to make sure you, you know the difference between the two. Brother is Jaraher. Jaraher. Jaraher and sister is Jennifer. 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 Now your your granda you can call Dajo. Granda Dajo. Grandfather would be Shanaher. That's a little bit more formal. Shanaher. For your granny, then Mamu. Mamu. And a little bit more formal again, grandmother would be Shanwaher. Shanwaher. So we heard earlier on that Pwashja is child and Pwashji is children but grandchild and grandchildren we just put a wee word in front of the Pwashji so grandchild would be Garfwashja Garfwashja Grandchildren, Garfwashji, Garfwashji, Garfwashji. A cousin then is Kol Kahra, Kol Kahra, what's your cousin? Kol Kahra. Uncle and aunt are Quite straightforward, uncle, I was and she, uncle and aunt, uncle, August, and she, August is the word for aunt. So, to practice asking if you have any of these family members, and will jar August. Do you have a brother? And will Jarahar Ogat? Ta Jarahar Ogum? Nil Jarahar Ogum? Ta Birch Yarahar Ogum? Ta Birch Yarahar Ogum? I have two brothers. Neil Jarahar Ogum. I don't have a brother. Ah, Ta Jennifer Ogum. But I have a sister. So, but in Irish is Ah. Neil Jarahar Ogum. Ah, Ta Jennifer Ogum. I don't have a brother. But I have a sister. So, in Kyatihian, lesson one, we've met plenty of new vocabulary. We've talked about ourselves. We've said hello, how are you? Fine. 
nibble to say where we live and ask someone else. Call to the Khone. Call to the Khone. Where do you live? Tell me Mahoney and Malfarsha. I live in Belfast. We've learned how to say different family members and whether we have children or not, grandchildren. So the things to remember from Kyak to Hain, along with all your new vocabulary, is an moichliat, do you like? An moichliat, whatever it is you're asking about. An moichliat cafe, do you like coffee? Is moichliat cafe? Ni moichliat cafe. Is moichliat cafe? Ni moichliat cafe. How to ask, do you have something? And will, whatever, ogget. And will, cup and coffee, ogget. Do you have a cup of coffee? And will, cup and coffee, ogget. Ta, cup and coffee, ogum. Neil, cup and coffee, ogum. Ta, mac, ogum. Neil, enin, ogum. I have a son. I don't have a daughter. There are some useful phrases I want to leave you with just before we finish Kyak the Hain. Um, some of them you might know already. It'll do no harm to go over. Please in Irish, let the hull. Let the hull. Please, let the hull. When you want to say thank you to someone, go to Moigat. Go to Moigat. We met that earlier on. Good morning, you good. Thanks. Now, if somebody says to you, Good morning, you good. Thank you. Your answer is going to be, Good morning, you good. You're welcome. Good morning, you good. Good morning, you good. Good morning, you If you want to say, Excuse me, to someone, Go Malishka. Go Malishka. Go Malishka. Excuse me. Good morning then is Mojin Moi. So we've met Moi already. Mojin is morning. Mojin Woi. Good morning. Mojin Woi. Good night then. Iha Woi. Iha is night. Good night. Iha Woi. Iha Woi. When you're learning Irish, sometimes um, it can be daunting if someone speaks to you. Maybe they speak slightly faster than you're used to. If this happens, don't worry. It's fine. Um, there are some phrases you can learn so that you don't have to break into English, but to let the other person know um, that you may be not, not following. Ni higum. I don't understand. Ni higum. Ni higum. If you want somebody to repeat what they've just said, Aber Arishe. Aber Arishe. Say it again. Aber Arishe let the hull. Say it again, please. Aber Arishe let the hull. If you want to ask someone what the Arish is for a certain word, you're going to say, Kurgilig or cup. Kurgilig or cup. What's the Arish for cup? Kurgilig or cup. Today in Irish is inu, inu. Yesterday is inye, inye. And tomorrow is amwara, amwara. So inu, inye, amwara. Today. Yesterday, tomorrow. In you, in ye, amwar. In Irish, to say goodbye, we say slam. Slam. Or slam go foy. There's many ways to say it. I'll see you is chifi mahu. Chifi mahu. Chifi mahu. So that was lesson one. Kjartahien, Bonkursa Gelige.
I'll see you in the next episode. Slang of foil. Moisha.